Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalanda and this is Saving with Shalanda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on to do a Canva tutorial. Today we'll be recreating my um, 100 envelope challenge that I am uh, that I created to give away in my uh, 1K subscriber giveaway. But I'm currently giving them away now as freebies in my Etsy orders to uh, my customers who have three or more orders. And like I said, once I reach 1,000 subscribers, this will be the freebie that I will um, put in the description box for you guys to download. But I'm going to go ahead and try to make a, a free version of this, okay? So if that sounds like it's something you're, that you're interested in, keep on watching. Before we get started, guys, I did want to show you um, the download I did for the uh, Tennessee Titans football team, okay? This is uh, something, um, a request for Etsy order, okay? So I, I like to show you, show you the digital download as well before the physical copy is printed. So here it is. All right, so I'm gonna probably put this on Etsy uh, sometime today or later this evening once I get back home from work. Oh yeah, so Tennessee Titans, okay? And you'll see the um, actual physical copy um, when I pack this person's order, okay? So that's that. So I'll get rid of that for now, okay? All right, so back to Canva. Uh, create a design. New design, guys. We want to go on Flyer, 8.5 by 11. You can also type it in the search bar, guys. I'm going to go to this other challenge here to get my um, copy of my 100 envelope challenge here that I've created already. So we can have it for reference, guys, okay? Let me click off of this. Look, my computer is going really slow as usual, guys. Okay. The right click, copy. Do it one more time. Okay. So here's my design, guys. I'm gonna blow it up a little bit here so you can see. I got a seventy five percent. Okay, so I'm going to copy my designer uh, paste here. This computer is so slow today, guys. This problem, I've been on it since a little bit earlier this morning guys but now it's just acting completely up okay <laughs> you know how to act up when you have company and stuff <laughs> want to show out but okay y'all so that there it is all right so we gonna go ahead and create this start it okay we're gonna do it with free elements only all right elements we're gonna go to our shapes guys There's our square. We all size this out to, let's see, eight by five, eight by five, okay. Got a little bit out of here, so that's eight. All right. We're going to um, click on borders on here, guys. The line, border weight 15. All right. My border color is going to be uh, 
Okay, so this is the color that's already on there. Like I said, when you bring pictures over, it takes the pictures that you have and you can see the colors in it. And then the inside of it will be this co this pink color here. So now you can see that it's the same, guys, okay? I'm going to ungroup this to still, to still my logo, guys, and put it up there, okay? Duplicate. All right. Right in the corner there. All right, let's go find us an envelope, guys. A free envelope. Let's see. I spelled that all the way wrong, guys. Let's see. Envelope. All right, let's see what's available. Go to graphics. All right, let's see what I do have down here, okay? Okay, this is free. I think this is the one I might have used, guys. Let me see. Okay, so this is actually a free element that I use, but like I said, I made it look the way that it looks, okay? <laughs> so I put a circle on it, put the number on there. Let's pull it up a little bit more so you can kind of like see the, the details of it, okay? So if you look at these... You see, I, it, with that circle there, then I put the number five and all that stuff in there. I did that, okay, by hand. But we, but that's a free envelope. It looks like that's the one I chose. So, uh, cause I liked it cause it was white and you can color it in, okay. So that that was my goal for choosing that one, to color it in. So, like I said, I don't know if I necessarily. I'm not going to say a beginner wouldn't um, want to number these and just put like a number one on top of there, like the way that I did it. Um, I'm not sure a beginner would do all this, but I'm <laughs> going to try to do it that way if I have time or because I don't have a lot. I'm short on time. Maybe I'll just do the actual envelopes, guys. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm going to see what the size of my envelopes are down here. Look at the dimensions of it, how big it should be. Okay. 05.3. I think that was it. Let's try another one. Yeah. Okay. 05.3. All right. So there we go. So that's the same as the ones I have down there. And let's see. So like I said, um, the envelope challenges that I see for beginners don't always necessarily have these numbers on here, but it'd be 100 envelopes on the page so you can color them in as you go type thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to maybe do that, okay? Let's see. Do I want to do that? I'm going to show you one envelope how I did mine, guys, but I'm not going to do them all that way because I'm not going to have time to change all those numbers in there because you have to individually change each number, okay? So here we go. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make it bigger just for this one, okay? Elements. I need a circle. All right, I'm going to put a border on my circle, guys. Border, just like that. That's fine. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put, uh, make a text box, text. Uh, add a subheading. I'm going to write, I must, I started mine with 100 guys because that way it's already big enough for any numbers that you need. And then you're going to make it, uh, when you group all this together, you can just have to change the number. So I start with the first 100 just like that, guys. And then I'm going to group all this together. So I'm clicking on each individual element, group. And then that's my envelope. And then I would just right click, duplicate like this 
to get how many I need, guys. Let's just do five, for example. And then I'm going to group all these together. And I'm going to duplicate and do it like this. I just want to show you what it would look like if you had it like a full page. So let's just do 15. Let's just call this a 15 envelope challenge, guys. <laughs> All right, then you're going to go in individually. You know, double click on that number and change it. Two, double click, so that'd be three. Double click, four, five, Okay, so we got our 15 envelopes there, guys. I'm going to kind of get them together. I'm going to group all of these in a second so I can move them. Okay, they kind of lined up the way I want them for the most part. So this bottom one. Okay, so I'm going to group all these together. Group the first one. Click the first one, second one. You, you holding down a shift key. Group. Now press group. Now they're all together. Now I can move them around, guys, okay? So that is what that looks like, okay? So look, I'm going to just leave it at the 15 kind of situation like that. So you can do as many envelopes as you want. You can do 26 envelopes, 52 envelopes. But as you can see, if I had to go in and change those numbers for 100 envelopes like that, that takes time, guys, okay? <laughs> So like I said, I'm just going to do the 15. So let's go ahead and add our title to this. We can just call it a 15 envelope challenge, okay? So here we go. Let's do our text. First word is going to be envelope. To match what we have. And this is, um, of course, the moonshine. what that's my favorite text guys on here i love moonshine okay is that what it is moon time moon time i'm thinking about the drink what's the moonshine <laughs> all right chat envelope we're gonna do effects we're gonna put outline guys the colors outline color is black text color is white See, no surprise there. Same old, same old. Some things I never change, y'all. We're going to do, um, we're going to add another text box. This word is going to be challenge. Let's separate it a little bit, guys. Okay, then I'll make that. Let me see how I made it. Okay. And you can see that I got the pink text, black outline. It's a different font, though. Let me see what font this is. Okay, that's just a regular Aramo font. All right, text color will be our uh, pink here. I think that's what I had. Then we're going to go to the effects, outline, and then we're going to make it black. Maybe I make that. What color is that? It's a dark pink. Okay, this is dark pink. Let me have to edit. All right, dark pink. I'll do that. All right, there it is, guys. All right. <clears throat> and then we're going to get another text box. And we're going to add a heading. And we're going to put 15, the number 15. I'll make that big. Bigger. 
Uh, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so let's, let's see what font this is. Tan Moonlight. I've used that before as well. Okay. Text is white. Font is Tan Moonlight. Effects. Outline. We're going to make it black. All right, so now we're just going to kind of like space it out, kind of like I have the other one there, okay? Make this a little bit bigger so it fills up the whole challenge, you know, encompass it, most of it, just for size and so it looks good, guys. You know, I'll make my logo a little bit bigger because I got a little bit more space on this one. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to go to effects. Uh, no, not effects. I'm going to just click on this. I'm going to click on this first for spacing. I'm going to space my um, letter spacing, make it a little go out a little longer, guys. Like that. I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to take out the empty spaces on the end, guys. I'm going to let it kind of like hang a little bit over there, like that. Okay, I got my other one. Yeah. Okay, so there it is, guys. So that's a 15 envelope challenge. And like I said, if you want to do the 100 envelope challenge, you see all them envelopes on there. And like I said, it's the same concept. So there's an envelope. You can, uh, I made it a circle. You can put a heart on there if you want to. You can use a different type of envelope if you want, the open ones. And it's very, it's a lot of different ways to do these guys, okay? But like I said, this is the way that I've done my uh, free freebie and stuff like that. Like I said, these aren't these aren't ones that I intend not say intend to sell, but uh <laughs> I mean they could be sold because they're beautiful, but uh like I said, I really don't sell these type of things in my shop, okay. Um like I said, this is like to me this is basic level, you know. I, like I said, I don't sell these type of things. That's why I just uh, give them away because I don't sell them, okay? Well, I guess I would have to do more than this for for me to sell it. Okay, for me to sell it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but here's a 15 envelope challenge, guys, um, that you can do on your own if you like. And like I said, you can do a 15 envelope challenge, a 26 envelope challenge, 25 or something. That make 325 dollars. Um, you add all these up. I think this is like 15. This might be like about 100 bucks or something. You just did the do 15 of these or something like that. A little bit over a hundred, maybe. Add all those numbers up. Um, what what else? So the hundred envelope challenge. Like I said, this is gonna be the freebie, guys. And when we do it on my channel, we're gonna do like just color in one at a time, and you know, save a hundred dollars. We're not. I'm not saving <laughs> five thousand dollars like this. Like I said, I gotta make this fun, like a fun game. Um, for me. Like I said, this is this challenge. I like the challenge, but I think it's kind of it's a boring challenge to me. You know. That's why I said I need to make it fun. That's why I don't do it on my channel. But I would like to, but I, I have to make it into a game to make it fun, okay? But like I said, I know a lot of people do this challenge. And like I said, I, I understand why they do it. You know, it helps them save a ton of money and things like that. But like I said, I need this to be fun in order for me to want to um, do it, okay? So like I said, so there we go, guys. And then when you get done with your challenge like that, you go ahead and um, press the down download button, guys. Okay. So we can see what the final product looks like. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, now I get on here running my mouth, y'all. I get on here running my mouth all the time. Never fails. All right, let's see what this look like. All right, so there it is, guys. That's your 15 um, envelope challenge. And like I said, here's my 100 envelope challenge. It's missing one of these envelopes right here. I got to put that back. <laughs> I don't think it carried everything over when I um, copied it, but 
Yeah. So that's it, guys. So that's what it looks like. So you, like I said, if you go over and do this, like I said, it will take some time to convert all these over to 100 envelopes to change all the numbers and stuff in it. But that's that's what you're supposed to do to get it. Like I said, you just size them down to whatever you think. Like I said, I think I have 13 on the line and point. 0.5.3 are the measurements that I'm using to get the 13 like that, guys, okay? Then I got, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 rows. So like I said, you're going to group out that first row together, guys, and then duplicate, duplicate, duplicate all the way down, and then duplicate that last one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Duplicate this one. Now on the last row, you're going to ungroup and you're going to delete four of the envelopes on the bottom to get 100, okay? So that's all you really have to do, guys. So what is it? 18, eight rows of 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows of 13 envelopes. On the last row, ungroup that last row, delete four of the envelopes on the side, and you'll be able to get the 100 envelope challenge like I have right there, guys, okay? So that's it. So that's how you do it, guys, all right? So I am done here. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you have a suggestion for the next camera tutorial you would like to see, guys, leave it in the comments as well. And that's it. I appreciate you being here as usual. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up, guys. Um, share my video and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.